Lane, listed in the evening and sold overnight for full asking price. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and flip for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So, in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, come on over and join it. There's a, a link down in the link tree down below. You're looking for the white background with over 100,000 members. You are going to see a post that says, Share your best March bolo. So come on over, share a bolo, and have it featured in a video just like this. Let's get... I found this necklace in my local thrift shop about a year ago. Saw on the bottom shelf for $8.99. Piece was not marked. Almost looked like zinc-plated India necklace through the showcase. Just had a funny feeling about this piece. The necklace was very heavy, 119 grams, unmarked, but looked like silver. Tested at home with acid and was silver. Researched for a few weeks and finally identified as an old India ceremonial necklace. Finally sold at asking price of $325. I shipped next morning. Buyer is using for a wedding this weekend. Courtney, thank you for your ongoing support for the reseller community. You keep me going. I list at least two items during the week. Still work full time and watch my grandson, but want my business to be well established when I retire in a few years. This one comes from Geek Nurses Treasures, and she is also the gal that found gold, unmarked gold at my Whatnot Untangling show. So she has a really good eye. This was unmarked silver. How beautiful is that? Incredible, right? Geek Nurse Treasures on, I believe, eBay and Etsy. So check her out. She is definitely a bolo finder. Amara Paya. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Probably not. Oxidize India Ceremonial Solid Silver Collar Necklace. And another thing she's really good at is keywords and finding out what things are. So check her out. The next one, I just love this. This is not a big money bolo, but this is one that you may pass by. It is a step two pretend play kitchen replacement electronic phone, step two. And this is what it looks like. I sold this step two pretend play kitchen replacement phone on eBay, had it listed for 25 and took a best offer of 21. Sold in less than a month, paid $2 for a baggie of other random toys at a garage sale. So maybe a quarter into this phone. Great button, great bread and butter item. My what night? Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. My what not is Samantha sells stuff. And my eBay is Samantha sells stuff 92. I would be so thankful and appreciative for new friends and followers. Thank you. Awesome. All right, you guys, give her a follow on whatnot. And again, I'm selling on whatnot. And I forgot to tell you guys. Um, the gold necklace that she found, um, it had gold spacer beads and I think it was carnelian, something like that. I don't know. I'm so bad with jewelry, but I think she paid $15 for it. And I want to say she said it was valued at two to 300. So that was a super cool find. I think I shared about it in another video, but uh, yeah, you can definitely find bolos on whatnot. So if you want to join Whatnot and you're not already on Whatnot, you can use my referral link down below and you can get $15 to shop with that. So come hang out with us and make sure that you also follow Samantha Sells Stuff. All right. This one comes from Childhood Finds. It's a rattlesnake mug. Ooh um, check it out. Uh, and she's showing the imperfections. Nice, nice. She does a great job. That's a great way to do it, you guys. She said, I picked up at the Salvation Army for $1.99. It sold within a few days for $79.95, even with the defects, guys. It wasn't even in perfect condition, she said. I learned that Craig Ferguson used this mug and that that is what gives it the premium price. Childhood finds on YouTube and here on eBay. So check her out on YouTube. She is fantastic. 
I had this gorgeous Kate Spade skirt listed for a year, had picked up at the Goodwill for $4.49. It finally sold on best offer for $45. My guess is the size is what took it so long to sell. Uh, posh closet, Jiffy Thrifty. So this is another one that you just wait for the right buyer. It's a size two, so it is a small size. So five bucks into 45, still a great profit, just took a long time to sell. And, you know, I think you'll find that with clothing. A lot of times, smaller sizes are harder to sell. They either sell really quick or they take a long time. Man Eating Plant, Venus Flytrap, Animated Halloween Shop of Horrors, LED C video. Oh my goodness, should we? So definitely put a video in your listing if it is something cool like this. She said, here is a cool item. It works and I put a video on the listing, paid $4.99. And had it for 95 because others a while back sold high. I got an offer of 50 and took it. I still made decent money. My name is Gina and my eBay store name is Timeless Treasures by Gina. Oh, this is one of those words. Um, Yadro, I think is how you say it. I had it down and then I, nobody was sharing this word and I kind of forgot but it looks like it should be Ladro, but I think it's Yadro. Like sounds like Yadro. I could be wrong. You guys let me know in the chat. Retired figurine daydreams, girl in hat holding dog. Purchased this at an estate sale in June for three bucks, sold for $170. If you don't know, this is a great brand to pick up. A lot of them are Bolo items and this is what it looks like on the bottom. These right here paid 15, accepted 90, bought at an auction. And this one comes from the Picking Hammers. So 15 into 90. And those are authenticity guarantee. Huh. Wonder why since, I mean, because they're only, they sold for 90. Is that just something that the seller can pick? I thought it was shoes over a certain amount. You guys let me know. I'm not sure on that. I don't sell a lot of shoes. Paid $3, accepted $100, bought at an auction. This is also the Picking Hammers. Knew nothing, really nothing about it. Thankfully, a buyer did. Uh, Quantum Caress Biofeedback Machine. No clue what that is. Kind of looks scary. $3 into 100. That is great. All right. This is a jet air hair system, hot air curlers, rollers complete, 36 pieces open box. Paid $2, accepted offer of 65, almost kept it because, well, I have hair. <laughs> That's awesome. She almost kept it because she has hair. That's the only reason just she has hair. That looks like a lot of work. Oh my goodness. You could have done a before and after. That would have been fun, but it looks like it's not been used. The picking hammers. That was funny. I have hair. Uh, Ma Dudley's Secrets of the Dudley Homestead Cookbook. Ooh, 1977 Maine by Avis Dudley. Cookbooks. I bought this cookbook for 30 cents at the Goodwill Bins. The cookbook features recipes of a woman who cooked for guests in her home in Arrowstook County, Maine. Listed in the evening and sold overnight for full asking price. eBay store is Daisy Chain Treasures. Wow. Talk about somebody was looking for this item. Sold overnight. This is not something that you would typically think would sell overnight. Someone was looking for it. I wonder if she would have priced it at $500 if they would have bought it. You never know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Barbie Vintage Graduated Pearl Necklace, 1960s Sunglasses, Zebra Swimsuit, and Bracelet. I found a little baggie of Barbie items at a thrift store for a dollar. I don't know much about Barbie, but the items looked old, so I did an auction. Sold for $90 and buyer paid shipping. My eBay store is Jen's Fun finds 
And yes, 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 yes. Some of these can go for big money. This is a nice little lot. I'd like to know what Flippin' Friends thinks about this. Uh, Flippin' Friends sells vintage Barbie. She specializes in clones and she sells on whatnot. So check her out on Mondays. Flippin' Friends, all one word on whatnot. If you like vintage Barbie, uh, she's got the deals. And you will also get a little bit of an education if you're over there because a lot of people in the chat are talking vintage Barbie and she also knows her stuff. So give her a follow. And again, if you're not on Whatnot, that referral link is down below. You can get $15 to shop when you join with that link. This one is uh, from Nooks, Crannies, and Irresistibles. Purchased at the Salvation Army for a dollar. Still sealed in original package. I love the challenge of selling the unusual items. I noted in my listing, not recommended for the intended use due to the age. 1983, sold for 25 Yeah, this is something you could also sell under collectibles. Rare Vintage 1983 Gerber Nook Orthopedic Exerciser Pacifier Nipple Purple Sealed. So fun little uh, nostalgia right there. This one says paid $5 at Red Racks and sold for full asking price of $54.99 in a little over a week. It is a Disney Special Agent o Oso Whirly Bird Helicopter and Figure. This is one I have never seen. So thank you for sharing. I love finding toys. Um, I have gotten off this type of thing before with cleaning paste. So maybe a magic eraser also, the little scuffs and marks. So just something to consider if you have a high dollar item. And there you have it. I don't know this character. The next item is this. Handsome photographer, antique black and white photo on board. Hinderman or Omor Wiss is what it says. And it says, I sold a bunch of photographs I got for free when I cleaned out my grandmother's home. This was the best seller. It sold for $78.77. And there is only one photo. So one recommendation that I would have, especially uh, for higher dollar items, is show the front and back, take close-ups of maybe the corners, use multiple photos, especially for collectors because they're going to want to see what they're getting. Would that have changed what she got for the item? I don't know, but um, that would be my recommendation. But she got $78.77. So I know some people actually scan these in, so that could have been what she did. All right, you guys, again, February Bolo is over, but March is up. So come share your Bolo, shout out your eBay store, shout out your whatnot, shout out your um, other platforms that you sell on. And if you have a YouTube channel, definitely shout that out. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.